What's going on you guys? So today I'll be going over how I painted this puppy. It's exciting, so you don't want to miss this one. It's a it's a time-lapse tutorial. We're just gonna go straight through how I did everything and I hope you guys really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. So right off the bat we're jumping straight in with the eyes of this puppy. I start with a dark black layer for the eyes and then go in with a medium brown and slowly work the layers up. I also add a washed white for the highlights and build those layers up as well so you get a rounded effect. Finally, adding the white highlights. that are, They're almost pure white, not quite because you'll see later we do have quite a dark background. So there you go, adding all those highlights in and then we go straight in and start doing the fur. So. I started with the shadows here just because with a dark dog like this adding light fur over the top is actually fairly simple so I always do the dark tones first and then add those white furs later. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Going in with the other eyelid there you can see lots of little details. I'm using a makeup brush for this. Um, it's just it makes such a smooth transition when you're blending with acrylics straight into the nose once again starting with the darkest part which is the nostrils and building the shadows and blending it all together here we go into the fur same thing again you guys let's not make it too complicated I'm going in there with a thin flat brush um, just to get those hairs and working on the base again so when you see I add layers and layers and layers just to make the fur look really soft and then I go with my thinner brush and add individual furs but I don't go crazy with the individual furs I don't want a super sharp image I want something that looks more like a photo so I do go pretty soft with the extra details I just add enough for the eyes to trick the mind into thinking there's more there <laughs> which is really what's so special about art is that your mind will fill in the gaps so don't be afraid to add a little less detail than you used to or a little more if you're not a detailed person but yeah you can kind of see what I'm doing there going into the chin this this his chin has a bit of color so I worked that color into the beard the wonderful dog beard and then slowly did my overlay of white fur over the top of that and straight to the background. I should have done the background first with this painting, however, I'm me and obviously mistakes happen, but wasn't an issue. I just went and did the background, doing the ears now and the top of the head. You can see my reference in the corner there. So I wanna show you just where the dark bits are. You can see in the reference, I'll add it up on the screen so that you guys can see much better and kind of follow what I'm doing and why I'm doing that. So adding the dark highlights, all that. I, I feel like I keep saying highlights, 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 but it's so important because that's all that painting is. It's just different tones of color and then the highlights and the shadows, of course. So just with the ear here, we have longer fur. So I use my smaller brush and add some random little hairs. Going for the other ear. Oh yeah. I'm going um, much rougher with the rest of the dog's body as I want the face to really be in the foreground of this painting. So you can see I'm going a lot faster with the rest of it, blurring it out just with my makeup brush. And it's looking quite good. I add in a bit of color, just a wash. So you mix water with your color and then it adds a wash of color over what you've already done it works great over white and then finally adding my final highlights um, I did do some airbrushing on the back not everyone has access to an airbrush so I decided to skip that bit and this dog is all done so I signed my work and we're on to the final reveal in three two one 